Hey, what's up? I'm Jordan from The Ready Set, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with The Ready Set. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for taking the time to have a chat. Oh yeah, of course. So your new record, I Will Be Nothing Without Your Love, is now released. What's been the yeah. coolest thing to happen since you dropped it? Um, I think the coolest thing to happen is, I guess, kind of this, this tour, because it's the first time I'm seeing people react to the songs like in person and like sing along and stuff and it's cool to see people learning the words and all that so that's always the most rewarding thing anyway is touring and just like seeing it connect face to face I like all the different kind of nuances on the album because yeah, you have a yeah. song that's very reggae and like you can mm -hmm. kind of like get down to it and then you have songs that are more along the electro pop yeah, yeah, you know yeah. vein but you produced this entire record by yourself mm -hmm. so what was it like mm -hmm. having that freedom um it was really good it was super like relaxed to the point of where like, it didn't feel like I was really like making a record I was just writing songs and just like hanging out doing what I normally do every day and then it eventually sort of like became this this thing yeah um, and uh, yeah it was just like the least the least stressful album process I've ever had which is really nice <laughs> it's super nice but it's fun yeah I just did it all really really minimally like in my house um, just with like barely any gear just tried to like strip down as much as possible and it's just fun, fun to be able to like do it that way, not to re rely on anyone else's like help or support for it. It's just all how I want it to be. Recording at your house must be awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, my cat actually kind of makes it difficult sometimes because he, <laughs> like, if I start to sing, he has to be in the room because he gets like upset if I'm singing and he's not around. Like, <laughs> oh. It stresses him out because I think he thinks I'm trying to tell him something. But he'll come up and like start like bumping against the mic stand so I'll have like all these sounds of just like <laughs> in the background that I have to like keep getting other takes so aside from him kind of uh, foiling my plans it's good. Did your cat make any appearances on the album or were they all retakes? Uh, I think they were all retakes. Yeah. There, there might be uh, some subtle sounds of him uh, ruining ruining my process somewhere in there but uh, I try to I try to keep him keep him at bay. There's this reoccurring fox mask that's yeah. on the album and then in a recent music video. So where did you initially find this mask? Um, I actually had uh, someone make it. I never, well, I mean, I was like looking, trying to find a fox mask, but then I found this like kit and uh, someone made it. So we used it for the album art and then used it in some videos. And yeah, it was just like a little home craft kit fox mask, <laughs> but I guess it was really hard to make. So I probably would have ruined it if I did it, but it's good. Well, my favorite <laughs> song on the album is Run With Me. Cause nice. I love New Wave so much, and I like nice. how you kind of had those 80s vibes snuck mm -hmm. in there. Uh, was it kind of intentional to almost do a little throwback and like a little definitely. hint to Genesis in any way? Yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. Sweet. Um, I was listening to a bunch of that kind of stuff, like Genesis and Toto, and like just a lot of like that 80s, like super big pop stuff. Because when I was like, I mean, I wasn't really alive in the 80s at all so I missed that whole boat when Me I was too. like growing up so um, I just like recently got into it sort of and I was like these are like really timeless sounding songs like there's like really cool pop stuff then so I was kind of trying to like bring that in a little bit and just like I don't know I just like those big like old like 80s drums and like Juno synths and stuff like that it's really cool to make stuff with all that. And then No Love features the adorable Ainsley Newman from yeah. Jewel Vera. We got to speak with them a few months ago, and they're just a great band. Yeah. That's the only guest contributor, though, on the mm -hmm. whole album. So how did that come about? Um, I had the song pretty much done, and um, just didn't really have the bridge for it. So I was like, well, who should we have do it? I, know, I knew I wanted it to be a girl. And then um, we had actually played with them in my other band a few months prior in San Diego, just as like a one-off show. And I thought it was really cool. Like I like their vibe a lot, and her voice is really cool. So uh, we just hit her up, and she like she I sent her the like, song. Yeah, let's she, do it. Yeah, she tracked it and sent it back. And it was funny because like I actually never met her before she did that. Like I met her after the fact, and I was like, "Hey, I'm the guy from the song that you did that <laughs> you're on." <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it just turned out really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how the other day you tweeted, I wish I could have seen The Cure at the Hollywood Bowl so yeah. badly. Which other bands do you kind of want to see, kind of, you know, check off your bucket list? Oh, man. The Cure's probably the big one. I was, like, I was so bummed about that because, like, I looked at tickets, like, right after it went on sale, and it, like, sold out, like, immediately all, yeah, like, two course. or three days or whatever. I was like, oh, it sucks. <laughs> but um, I don't really know. There's, I, I really, really, really wish I would have gotten a chance to see, like, Prince live. That was always, like, top of my list yeah. for sure. But, um... I don't know. There's like so many awesome bands, and a lot of the ones I would want to see are like bands that 
can't really play shows anymore. Like, yeah. love to see the Beatles, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you're great on your social media. I love seeing you <laughs> tweeting the most ridiculous things back yeah. to people's ridiculous comments. Yeah. Um, with all of the fan love, what have been some of your coolest moments, whether meeting fans or just some funny tweets you've received? Um, I get a lot of funny tweets. I, I kind of like it when people get my jokes and my like sense of humor, so people don't think I'm just like a jerk. It's or a little just, like, like a dark, weirdo. dry sense of humor. Yeah. Like I, it's good though. I like it's, it. It's fun when they like get it and like go back and forth, I guess. But cool fan things. What? Let's see. There's been a lot of cool stuff. Um, I just got this hat. Somebody made me this hat. I just got it like five minutes ago. Oh, wow. They knitted the album name on it. I was excited. I get really excited when people like make things that I'm like going to practically wear every day. Like <laughs> things that are like, yes, like this is really, really sick. Um, so maybe, oh, um, I've gotten a few cakes in the shapes of my pets. Like I got like, really? my, my dog, um, like a big cake, fully like 3D, fully shaped cake. That's nice. Nice shape. Yeah, yeah. Which is just an immense amount of guilt while eating it, but uh, gotta do what you gotta do. I can do. only imagine. You know, uh, desperate times, I guess. <laughs> well, just to wrap everything up today, I wanna end it on the fans. Anything you wanna say to them all who are gonna be viewing? Yeah, um, I love you, and hopefully you like the new album, and if you haven't listened to it yet, there's still time. It's not going anywhere, so. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for uh, checking out my, oh, there's a cool squirrel over there. Thanks. <laughs> Ninja oh, squirrel. he's cool. Uh, thanks for checking out all my stuff, and I hope you uh, come out to a show soon. Be on tour forever. Awesome, Mitch. Thank you so much yeah, for your time you. today. My pleasure. And remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time.